here we go two three four five red lights here in australia for the third last time it is lights out and away they go looks like a pretty decent start from ando cat pepsi having to push him all the way to the inside and ando cat has made the jump as the two title rivals going side by side through the first two corners they are still going these yellow flags this absolute calamities right behind them as daylight has fallen to the back of this field as has psycho as well getting caught up into that as well but the two title contenders still going side by side as psycho five second time penalty for a severe collision with the Clownfish of Nemo and the Alpine, but it is Pepsi retaking the lead of this race ahead of Andrew Cat after a brilliant start from the Aston Martin, but just can't quite keep it in front on this occasion as they are right on the edge of grip. And the yellow flag, that's one of the Alfa Romeos. That is Defiant, who has lost it at the exit of turn 12, and he is going really, really slowly. I think that's uh, my suspicions are correct. That is a broken, well, that's a no front wing on that Alfa Romeo at the moment. There's a yellow flag as well. This time it's Kalios. This time at turn uh, five and turn six, Apollo Pepsi, 25-1, setting the pace as DRS gets enabled for the start of lap three. Dalek now putting Bully under a lot of pressure. You can see how close he's getting. Another yellow flag. So looks like Kalios has had an off at the last corner this time. Psycho as well into the pits. Oh, and there goes the Ferrari. Great awareness from the Mercedes to avoid collecting Bully as he was spinning around like a Beyblade at the exit of turn 12. But yellow flags ahead, and that is Kalios off yet again at the same corner that he uh, crashed in both qualifying and in the first lap of the race. That right, dreaded turn five, and that is, well, there you go, you jinxed it, Ali. We have a full safety car for that incident. That a whopping 60k, 70k as he goes into the final corner. The safety car is now in the pit lane. So it's all up to Pepsi on when he wants to go through the final corner. He's getting nice and easy in the power. A little bit of a slide, but a little bit more of a slide for combat, right? He's going straight into the pit lane to serve that drive-through penalty. So... We are racing once again here at Albert Park, ladies and gentlemen. Apollo Pepsi leads from Andercat, then Saxa is up into third place after staying out on those medium compound tires. Mika in fourth, Bandcap fifth, with Skins in sixth. As another yellow flag, Defiant is out at the exit of turn two. Psycho has been caught up in that calamity as well. What on earth is going on here? This turn two claims another two victims. All of Alpha Terry's and Alpha Romeo's hopes lie on Saxa and Vassa, respectively, as not. Has a little bit of a spin. Oh, and he's clipped the Ferrari. He's clipped Bully because he was coming around turn 13. Picks up a drive-through penalty for that. Probably fair as they are both spinning off in the in the, uh, the open area as a nut doing a couple of donuts as well. Have a look at Mika in that Aston Martin. His teammate currently in city in second, and Pepsi has pulled out. Oh no, Pepsi's out. Pepsi has lost it at the exit of turn seven and the championship leader, when he could have clinched the title today, is out of this race. A full safety car now being deployed as the Ferrari really having a bad day of things. Yeah, he'll be looking to get a good restart and then hopefully just run away with this race. Um, would be the goal there. Um, Back half of the grid, not looking so flash. I know a lot of them have damage. Uh, Kalios definitely has damage all over his car. Spicer, I know, has a busted diffuser because I shoved my front nose so far up his gearbox. There's no way he doesn't. Oh, here we go. We are green flag racing once again. Ando Cat leaving it very late. And Saxa all over the back of him, trying to pull to the inside. Has a little bit of a look into turn one, but thinks better of it. Oh, so far, so good as Dalek makes it up past the inside of King J going into turn one for the final points place. Oh, and the Mercedes goes straight into that wall, picking up a lot of front wing damage as well. That was a violent, violent hit. It's gone deep on his teammate now. Uh, that's a, uh, yeah, Dalek. With the DRS assistance now, Bandcamp also might be looking for a move on Saxo. You can see in front, wheel to wheel, those two go. They are still side by side, coming through turn three. Now into turn four, Bandcamp around the outside with the tire advantage. Finally gets past the Alpha Tauri. There's no way through. A great defensive drive so far from Saxo. 
on those aging mediums that are definitely not feeling great. You can see a little bit of a cut there from Vasa, and that's going to open up the door. The opportunity is there for the Alfa Romeo. So it's side by side with Daylight towards the breaking zone of turn 13 as Mika as well ahead of him, trying to go around the outside. A little bit of a bump between the Aston Martin and the Alfa Tauri. Now with the 14 stacks of that inside line, but look at the grip from the Aston Martin inside for Alfa 15, and I dare say this might be just the move done. We'll see who gets that DRS assistance coming through the final corner. It is going to be the Aston Mun. So Mika now up into a podium place. Now Vassa all over the back of this Alpha Tauri. And Saxo is going to be a sitting duck. Yeah, this is uh, absolutely intense. It Oh, makes the move done very nicely. So Combat Rider is actually up here now. Dalek swallows him. Saxo is just getting absolutely mugged. As Saxa finally goes into the pits, Kalios three seconds as he's trying to survive. Yellow flag again, that's Kalios out of the session. Just as Daylight is making the move, is that going to be another safety car? Yes, it is. Oh, oh, oh. All right. Well, to be honest, I'm quite okay with that. We need a bit of a break. This is too intense. Yeah, he'd be uh, he'd be keen to lock lock that down, get that fastest lap, and also the win. He definitely needs it. Um, and he's got a good buffer, I believe, because Ben doesn't have the opportunity to really catch Oh, him. here we go. It's now... Oh, Look Mr. Spicer, he's, he's uh, gotten a, uh, three, a five second time penalty, but Mika up the inside of turn one on Bandcamp. Oh my goodness, he has to take to the grass, and that's the Aston Martin falling, falling. He's almost lost, he's round. The commentator's curse, the Aston Martin spinning off, picking up so much dirt and dust. He's now down to 14th place. Vassa getting a little bit out of shape though, coming out of turn two. Isn't going to be able to have the overspeed to make the move this time. Or will he have the grip though? Around the outside of turn three. Look at the subs. They're just working to absolute perfection at the moment. But Bandcamp, Giga Band, as Ali has just put in the chat. It's certainly looking like it at the moment, Psycho. Giga Band. <laughs> Gotta love it. Nice. Vassa, three seconds though. Uh, oh, he's oh, gone! He's gone! Oh, Vassa is out of this race of, with three laps to go. And that is another. You heard me right, ladies and gentlemen. Another safety car. Oh, I'm loving this. All right, come on. Bring it into the pits. Ando! Ando drove past the pits! Ando has driven past the pit lane. Dalek, Dalek has what? done the same. Bear camp. They're all staying out, Psycho. Everyone is staying out. The top seven all just bunched up here and King J was going to be approaching them very quickly. You can just see him just coming into the image now. It's right at the back. And okay, he's waiting, he's waiting, he's waiting, he's still waiting, and he's gone. Oh, we caught Ben napping. He caught Ben napping, but not quite. Uh, the Mercedes of Dalek is Saxa going side by side with Mr. Spicer. Almost going into turn one, but uh, stays ahead of Bully coming out of turn two. Oh, knock it past Bully. I think Bully has some damage. Kick today as well. No, not quite. Not trying to defend his newly earned position up the inside. Becomes the outside for turn four. They rub wheels, but they both continue to face the correct way. They're still side by side. So I could come into turn five, but it is the Ferrari that wins out on this occasion. Can Dalek find the top step of the podium? He's certainly close. Oh, that might just be it. That slip out of turn 13, that might just be it. Ando Cat's six tenths. Unless Ando loses it at this final corner, it will be the Aston Martin. He will claim the full 26 points. And it is Ando Cat as he comes across the line to win the Australian Grand Prix and close that gap down towards his championship rival by a whopping 26 points as we have a photo finish to the line. It looks like Saxler just making it past Skins across the line as Bully comes across with that time penalty. We will drop down to ninth place. Lots of penalties on this grid. What a race. What a race indeed. Man, that, that was intense. And that oh, last yeah. sprint had Ando under quite a bit of pressure. One mistake, and it could have all come tumbling down. The amount of heat cycles those tires had to go through um, was was very, very interesting. Like, that really, really puts you on the back foot, and it can lose you a lot of grip. But in the end, the Aston Martin prevails ahead of the Mercedes of Dalek and Bandcamp rounding up the podium in what was a very turbulent race for him. Of course, putting on those mediums at the second-to-last safety car really put him on the back foot but he was able to make that mclaren so wide that it made the others uh, 
uh, really have to give it everything to make the pass. But confirmation of the results, then Andercat does indeed take away 26 points with the only driver in the 1 minute 23s, a 123.939 as the fastest lap. Daylake in second, Bandcamp in third.